Hello everyone, welcome to the Equine Documentalist. I'm Yogi Sharp Farrier. This is the first episode in a series on objective gait analysis. Recent studies have shown that a large percentage of working horses are lame without recognition. A change in gait is a telltale sign that questions used to recognise lameness. But many horses can show changes too subtle to the naked eye, with only a drop in performance or a change in behaviour to suggest discomfort. Even amongst experienced vets, the observer agreement for lameness is questionable. This subjectivity affects the efficiency of diagnosis and treatment. The technology is available now to quantitatively measure lameness by objective gait analysis through kinematics. But this ability to assess more and more subtle gait abnormalities opens a new area of necessary research. Is there such thing as a completely symmetrical gait? And where do we draw the line between gait, normal gait asymmetry and lameness? The technology's applications go beyond objective lameness assessment and its use is becoming more widespread in the question sports performance enhancement. Analyzing both the animal and the rider, enabling corrections to the rider's position and changes to the horse's care, from shoeing plans to physio treatments. We spent a morning with Luciana from Equilaterals to see the technology in action. At Equilaterals, we are taking biomechanics for horse and rider to the next level. We start by placing markers on key anatomical points across the horse and the rider. These are then picked up by our high powered light and filmed using our 300 foot frame per second camera. In this video, we are doing a horse and rider analysis at trot. We film five times in each direction and also from behind. This allows us to take an average across all the strides. We can also carry out gait analysis on the horse in hand or when ridden at any pace. This also applies to our rider position analysis too. Some applications of this gait analysis technology include assessing the horse's symmetry of movement to target training, provide early diagnosis of lameness and give a non-subjective assessment of progression for recovery after an injury or competition. The rider position assessment is a great way to aid your understanding of your influence on your horse's movement and highlight areas for improvement to boost your competition performance. In terms of the horse analysis, we quantify their movement patterns through timing, distance and angular measurements. The timing variables describe the tempo, rhythm and regularity of the stride. The distance variables describe the stride length and the distance between individual limb placements, such as the amount of overtracking. The angular variables describe the position of the bones and joints, for example how much flexion occurs at different joints. It can be used to relate the horse's conformation to their movement and identify potential areas that may be prone to injury. The rider analysis includes a set of position assessment angles such as the elbow and heel angle and the symmetry between the left and the right side. When filming from behind we are looking at the rider's straightness defined by the head, shoulders and hip angles. The report collects all of this data along with how your horse is moving and looks at ways of improving both you and your horse's welfare and performance. For more information or to book your own assessment, please visit our website www.equilaterals.co.uk or find us on our Facebook page at Equilaterals.